the only income they can ambition. So one of the most common questions that we get in the work that we do is what are the ways you can use the tools that you have in your toolbox to actually drive innovation inside your organisation. One of the most powerful tools to drive innovation in your organisation is you know, our innovation champions. So who are innovation champions? What do they look like? What are they capable of? And how can you support them? So a couple of those characteristics are people that know how to make it tangible. They know how to take an idea from just being a concept that is in their mind or a few people's minds and turn it into something physical, something that they can show people to genuinely get that buy-in, to bring other people on the journey. Another part of this is being able to see it through. It's not easy. Innovation in organisations is hands down one of the most challenging things to really do well. And innovation champions have the tenacity to not give up. The third characteristic of really strong innovation champions is that they're skilled collaborators. They know who to bring into a process at any given time and the right people to bring in at the right moments in time. So we've talked about the after, you know, what makes a great innovation champion and what are the things that they're capable of, but how do you actually go about creating them? The first thing is getting good at identifying. Identify those people in your organisation that are the agitators, they're the outliers, they're the people that see something that they really want to change. Secondly, give them, if you can, if it's within your power as a leader, give them some time to be able to do this work. And thirdly, develop them in the skills that they need to run these sorts of experiments. If you want more info on how to develop your people, build capability in this area, check out our blog around the four things that make innovation capability programs a huge success.